سمسانی یفقہ قولی ربی ذدنی علما اللہ فقین فدین آمین سو ٹوڈے وی گو نو ڈو دا حدید اینڈ ایوری ٹائم وی آر ٹیکنگ ٹاپک وائز اینڈ ٹوڈے از ٹاپک از الحدیہ اینڈ الحدیہ لائک ان اردو اٹس کال توحفہ اٹس فار گفٹ سو حدیہ لائک موسٹ آف اس وی یوز دس ٹرمنالوجی ان اردو سو وی آر فیملیئر آف حدیہ سو وی 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 کال اٹ کے یو نو ہاؤ مچ حدیہ اٹ از دیٹس حدیہ از گفٹ سو ہیئر حدیہ از فرام ہا دال یا حدیہ گفٹ اینڈ فرام دس روٹ ورڈ آلسو ہدایا 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 از گائیڈنس بٹ ہدیہ از اے گفٹ یو نو گفٹ ان اسلام اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ یو نو اپریشیٹ ٹو گو گفٹ یو نو وتھ دا یو نو سننا وی ہیو سین ہاؤ رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آلویز اپریشیٹ پیپل ٹو گو گفٹس اوکے سو ویل سی ڈفرینٹ حدیت آلسو بٹ فرسٹ ویل انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ گفٹ از یو نو گفٹ کین بی اینی تھنگ یو نو ٹینجبل اور انٹینجبل دا فرسٹ گفٹ لائک ارلی مارننگ وی ویک اپ اینڈ وی کین گو اے اسمائل نائٹ اسمائل ویدر ٹو اے اسپاؤس اور ٹو چلڈرین اینی ون ان ہوم اف یو ہیو ایلڈرس دیٹس اے گڈ اپرچونیٹی ٹو گو دیم سلام اینڈ اسمائل دیم سو دیٹس آلسو اے چیریٹی اسمائل از اے چیریٹی اینڈ آلسو میڈیکلی اف یو نوٹس لائک اف یو اسمائل آل دا یو نو اٹ از گڈ فار یور ہیلتھ میڈیکلی اٹ واز سیٹ یو نو وی ایون فار دا فائن لائنس اٹس گون اٹ سیمس یو نو یو گو فار سو مینی پروسیجرس ہیئر یو نو وومین بٹ ایکچولی اف یو اسمائل دیٹ از اے چیریٹی یو آر گیٹنگ اے گڈ ڈیڈ فرسٹ آف آل اینڈ دیٹ گڈ ڈیڈ ول بی کیریڈ ٹو دا آخرا اٹس ناٹ ان دس ورلڈ اٹس کیریڈ ٹو دا آخرا ان دا ہیئر آفٹر سو ہیئر السلام علیکم ہیئر وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ہدیہ گفٹ so good gift is such a good thing like you know when you give gift to somebody how they smile don't they feel happy they feel happy and uh, even when we receive gift aren't we happy yes we are and you know always but the good thing is when you receive gift you should be thankful to allah then thankful to the person who is giving you so what you should do you should say jazakallah khairan جزاک اللہ خیر وی آر گیونگ اے دعا وی آر گیونگ وی آر گیونگ لائک اے بلیسنگ اور سم تھنگ یو نو ڈونٹ سے جسٹ جزاک اللہ جزاک اللہ خیر واٹ کائنڈ آف جزا اللہ شوڈ گیو دین خیر اوکے ڈونٹ جسٹ سے جزاک اللہ اف یو سے تھینک یو اٹ وونٹ فلفل دیٹ یو نو تھینک یو از جسٹ اے تھینک یو تھینکس دیٹ سے بٹ یو آر ناٹ گیونگ اینی دعا اور اینی بلیسنگ بٹ اف یو سے جزاک اللہ خیر اینڈ اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ یو نو اف یو سی دا سننا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ ہو آر تھینک فل ٹو پیپل دے آر تھینک فل ٹو اللہ سبحان اللہ تعالیٰ واٹ ایف سم بڈی از گیونگ یو گفٹ اینڈ اسٹل دیٹ مومنٹ آف ٹائم یو فار گاڈ مے بی وی آر وی آل آر ہیومن بینگ یو کین فار گیٹ بٹ لیٹر آن یو ریئلائز یو کین جسٹ سینڈ اوکے جزاک اللہ خیر سسٹر اف دے آر ناٹ مسلم یو کین سی تھینک یو and you can write in the bracket in english like you know jazakallah khair we used to say this it's a blessing you know if you say these small things they will understand now everybody has seen from last one week people know about juma salah till now nobody knows what friday sermon was and now alhamdulillah we have seen allah is propagating islam in a good manner even though people want to discourage it but alhamdulillah with the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it was encourageable especially some of the people especially the prime minister of new zealand she is such a nice person she is uh, such a kind hearted person uh, we should make dua for such people to allah give them hidayah because for going to jannah amal salih is not enough you should have iman la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah so here uh, we understand like how important gift is so be thankful to the people also even though if you don't like also that's okay you can just thanks them okay because that's the sunnah and also gifts can be between husband and wife between the children and parents and parents and children to the friends to the neighbors depending and gift can't be like you know you have to spend lot of money no it's not so it can be a petty kind of thing you know sometimes that is so useful 
you know uh, the other day somebody was saying you know something in the dollar store but still that is worth giving it you don't know somebody may need that so we don't know what uh, sort of but if you have money why don't we give us nice gift so that they remember oh it it's a nice gift and they actually use it and give the gift which is useful don't give oh i have so much you know i should give them like if they can use it that's a good thing you know sometimes it happens like you have more than one thing and you want to give as a gift that's okay that's fine and sometimes you used also you can tell them okay i used this thing once if you have that frequency and tell them now i am giving you but i used once once or twice is it okay if they don't mind it that's okay then you can give it so we'll see the hadith you know abu huraira radiyallahu anhu narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said give gifts you will love one another if you give gift you will love one another it means that it it's a means of increasing the love you know tahaddu tahabbu tahaddu is from hadiya like increasing love for each other and tahabbu is from hub ha baba hub is love so it's a means of increasing love hub is what sort of love it has emotions too so we want that you know if you give something you feel they they are happy. especially i notice when children when they are very young when we take to the you know toy shop how happy they are they express so nicely but we elders we don't express that way even in old age also i notice the old people like uh, how they express themselves we should give them to sometimes we started you know uh, neglecting some people especially aged people why why don't we give them it's a good way of expressing love so we should do that okay and next hadith aisha radiyallahu anha narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to accept gifts and used to give something in return see see the sunna rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is accepting first of all but he is giving in return also we are thinking oh this is american culture we have to give the return gift no it's a sunna we should appreciate our children and you know usually we arrange parties and then we give party favors and in return we give give gift so that's the sunna of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam why don't we we adopt that and then next hadith is Ab- abdullah radiyallahu anhu narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said accept the invitation of the inviter if somebody is inviting you just accept it and what else you should go do not return the gift and do not hit the muslims here three things are there first if somebody is inviting accept the invitation and go okay the second thing do not return the gift even though you didn't like the gift sometimes it happens i know especially in relatives in relatives it happens you know sometimes some relations are such kind of you know you feel humiliated after receiving a gift and you feel oh she is you know belittle me and she just gave me just to hurt me you know in that you feel so angry and you know you want to give it back but remember this hadith if we remember sunna are we going to implement it yes inshallah we going to implement it just remind yourself no i am not going to return it if you want to give just give them a better gift you know because you want to you know take out your anger you, you can give that gift to somebody else okay if you don't want to keep it and you think that will hurt you i understand that you can pass that gift to somebody else but give them return gift and clean your heart why we want to clean our heart for the akhirah we don't want to keep any grudge in the heart because we don't want that heaviness have you ever noticed if somebody is bad with you even though they were bad with you and you were good still your heart is very heavy because of that load you know that badness you received and you kept in your heart just take out that just clean it you know how we spray and clean it just spray your heart with zikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tell allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i am making you witness i want to clean my heart for allah's sake so that allah always be happy with us but after that you can be careful with that person because somebody is hurting you and it affects your life you can be careful the third thing 
do not hit the muslims you know whether you are smacking them whether you are killing them so do not hit them but here does not say killing but uh, hitting is like you know it can be smacking don't do that but what if you are not physically hitting but you know you know with your tongue you hurt so that is important don't say such thing which will hurt them you know sometimes they are people they look like very kind hearted and very nice person they never fight but their words literally pierce your heart literally and that time you you feel so you know hurt in your heart and that's the reason you know you will had have, have you ever noticed like people they have heart attacks why because sometimes they are overwhelmed with the people saying so many things and they can't take it anymore and we are like human a normal human being we have certain kind of capacity after that we break we have that boiling point and after that we are shattered completely even though we do zikr and everything alhamdulillah but still we are human being we lose that and you know sometimes something may happen like you, you you feel like you know your heart is very heavy that time start drinking water if you have zamzam that's a good thing just towards qibla drink some zamzam water and make dua for yourself because right now you are going through that stress because somebody is hurting in that manner you know sometimes some people they don't even take your name but indirectly you know and that person know she or he is talking about you especially it happens in the relatives especially qurba near relatives they keep on hitting you and you you keep on saving yourself you know sometimes this way that way but still they 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 don't stop but you know this is kind of a zul you know you, injustice how injustice can be stopped with your hands with your mouth the, the least thing you can do you can leave that place so at least third thing we can do leave that place because somebody is hurting and still you are there and you are listening and after that you fell sick and you are asking your children or your spouse you know she or he said so much you know i i was still listening you don't have to even sometimes in the television we watch certain kind of news you can't take it you can't watch that literal thing you know like uh, the specially shooting and all not to watch that just make dua make dua for everyone so this is also like a with the tongue you are hurting so three things invitation accept it don't return your gift if somebody gave you and then finally don't hit the muslim whether with your mouth with your tongue or with literally you are hurting one more hadith abu huraira radiyal anhu narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he who is presented with a scented flower should not refuse it for it is light to carry and pleasant in scent you know somebody gave you nice flowers and smelling good so here rasulullah sallallahu alaihi it's uh, abu huraira radiyal anhu narrated and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said not to return that you know it's a good thing you know have you ever noticed like you know you are not well and somebody is giving you flowers and it scents so nicely smell so nicely and when you look at it you have smile on your face you feel so nice oh this flowers that colors also you know adorn you and you love that colors and it brings some kind of happiness in your heart so this is a good gift you know uh, and uh, it's light to carry rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says it's light it, really it's light to carry and if you give it it's easy and also if you spend money it's not so much right so that re- this reminds me of my school days like you know every day we had that you know red color rose uh, was selling every day and we used to give to our teacher because we love her so much like you know how we express our love that way so we like you know we literally we we save money and buy it and give to the teacher that's how we express our love when i was reading this hadith you know that childhood things we didn't know that but it was a good deed though but that time we didn't had that intention but what if like you know even for our colleagues or anyone who even though they are non muslim we are giving it but make the niya it's a sunnah then you are getting good deed so inshallah 
so even for our children we should remind because whatever happened with us happen but at least we should encourage and tell them make this intention because you going to earn the good day what if like you know without uh, knowing we are doing it okay allah accepts it but if we do intentionally it's a good thing though and next hadith abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu narrated the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i will accept the invitation even if i was invited to a meal of a sheep trotters you know sheep like you know in uh, indo pak uh, language we call it paya you know that thing sheep trotter and i will accept the gift even if it were an arm or a trotter of a sheep you know the sheep thing i don't know everybody eats or not but most of the asian people they eat the sheep trotters also and also the tongue and also the leg part and the hand part everything so even that also he was given invitation he said i will love to go there that's how he was like you know uh, he doesn't mind and that too especially you know uh, about this uh, sheep trotter uh, it's a good thing for our health many people they share their uh, you know about their health issue that if they have this it will be beneficial for their health you know it will have that soup that leg part of the goat yeah they will you know actually burn it and take out that and you know also the tongue will be sold out and then they they make the soup of it and that soup is very delicious and also that meal that uh, that part also you have to make it very tender you have to keep on the stove for hour or so then it will become tender but it's very delicious and it's good for health indo pak people they eat lot they call it paya and they eat lot it's good for them yes it's good for health and uh, once in a while but at least the people they have like first for paya yeah, yeah <laughs> like at least 2 3 months in once in 2 3 months you know but if you don't have cholesterol every month at least once you can have it but if you have cholesterol you have to be careful because it will increase it because if you make it after that you will notice that you know all the yeah. oil, oil will be there even though we didn't add any oil because of that you know it has so much oil in it for that also he never said no he went to that meal also so we should understand if somebody is inviting for a, you know they don't have capacity to spend that much you know in uh, back home in india or pakistan servants also they invite their masters or you know uh, people are, they where they work still people go to their function and attend the party because whatever the capacity they have they are spending and if we go there they will feel happy as if like you know we are appreciating them and sometimes they make meal and bring and give to the people there they work and we like you know in our home we never said no to them uh, the standard will be different though but still we want allah to be happy if we say no to them allah don't feel nice right we shouldn't dis- discourage people and just uh, because they are not that much up to the mark and we are saying that that's not a good thing their food uh, like you know taste will be different and the way of making is different and also you know the rice and everything the meal will be different taste but still to make allah happy you can have you know that thing and here later on there are few more hadith ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu narrated the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he who takes back his gift is like him who swallows his vomit auzu billah like you know you gave gift to somebody and what if like you know you are asking okay give me back we never do that usually when we were children like when we were very young that time we didn't know like it happens like that like even our children they usually two of them they fight and they no i gave you that day now come on give me back you know that's all but we elders usually we don't and we shouldn't also it's very filthy thing you know even repeating also like we don't want to like have such a bad thing you know having vomit and swallowing is sakrullah can't even think about it such a like filthy thing so we don't want that so this was narrated by ibn abbas and that's a not a good thing so we should avoid that never ask 
even though it was very costly or so and so forth you gave it for the sake of allah that's it even though you are giving to relatives and sometimes it's very mandatory you know especially you are going in reception or so and so on you have to give good gift you have to you don't have any choice yeah give it for the sake of allah and allah will reward you and you know and it happens so inshallah and one more hadith jabir bin abdullah radiyallahu anhu narrated the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever is given a present and has a means then he should give something in return you know somebody gave you gift you should give if you have that capacity give the return gift and whoever has no means like you know we don't have any means and we can't give return gift sometimes you know some people they give very high fi gift and what we should do then so he should praise him just make him praise and you know as i said jazakallah khair or say like you know nice words oh gift was very nice i really like it i really appreciate it nice kind words nice smile for whoever praise he has indeed been grateful to him whoever praise is grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whoever conceal it is so indeed is ungrateful if you don't say jazakallah if you don't say appreciate appreciating or any kind words it means you are not grateful many times it happens like you give gift they don't say thank you don't say jazakallah khair not even they never mention about it so that time you feel disheartened what happened uh, sometimes we feel whether they got it or not many times it happens with me like you know i thought whether they receive or not or somebody else took it they they don't acknowledge you know at least they should acknowledge okay sister i got that gift whether you say nice or not doesn't matter at least acknowledge okay you got it but you know we are learning if we do we don't know maybe the other people they may learn like we should start from our home right when we start doing it inshallah everybody will start doing if they are not doing you know it's their own way of thinking we can't change people overnight mm-hmm. gradually it's going to change because it's a good deed you know you are appreciating them you are thanking them you are giving dua to them it's like a blessing you know every time somebody is coming and you know uh, saying something and giving a nice gift and here Uh, in all the gifts and everything we discuss about what if you can't give any gift you want to just say kind words mm-hmm. you you just say uh, kind words and share good thing in the quran or hadith or any worldly thing you can share you can teach them some nice dish you know how to make that you know or sometimes you can give them right if you can't give gift it doesn't mean gift is just tangible you have to no gift can be a charity like just i mentioned smile also so gift can be in many ways you can help in many ways inshallah so we should look ourselves our capacity if we just can give one or five dollar that's fine allah will look like your niya even uh, in um, Uh, spending allah subhanahu wa taala says if you spend date even half of the date that will save you from hell fire so why don't we just you know say kind words if you don't have you know anything to give or show something good you know you can share okay some class is going on or you can share some hadith or quranic verses or in worldly things there are so many things as i mentioned you know you can teach them some good skill you know if you are good in computer science you can teach them or you can help in any way okay it 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 does not mean like you know just this thing what if you know your relatives having some party you want to go and help them you can do that also it doesn't mean like you know just giving gift gift and giving one rose is also a charity you know about flowers and aisha radiyallahu anha whenever she want to give gift she will apply perfume and give the gift we should do the same thing you know even scarf you can buy many scarves and keep and dua books you can keep and you know make in in a small bag you can give 
Zamzam water is a good gift, you know. Most of the people they give Zamzam water, and whenever I drink, I thank to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and also the people. Most of you, you gave me Zamzam water. Alhamdulillah, you and you, Mashallah. So every time I drink, I thank to Allah and also to you, Mashallah, because you get reward when I am drinking and I am thanking Allah and also I remember. So indirectly, you are getting that reward. So we should avail those things. So we should. Uh, avail that uh, and do the um, gift uh, whatever the manner you can give that's okay but the thing is don't be stingy don't think no i can't give any